guys. Hi. Welcome. We're at Cafe Crush Down. Hello. I'm Kayla. And I'm Joel. And we are reviewing movies. That is what we're doing. We love horror movies, can't get enough of them. And of course, we are starting out with what? Us. Oh my God, we're starting with us. And praise Jesus, was it oh. a great film. <laughs> Oh my god, we have so much to say! Ah! Ah! So I am so excited to talk about us. Man, I've been waiting for this movie for so long. Ever since I heard Jordan Peele was doing another movie, I can wait. We love him. He is flawless. Yeah. Um, Get Out was one of my favorite films of current like horror films. Totally. Like, for real. Oh, yeah. so good. So so. When I saw this trailer, I was mm -hmm. like, ooh, I'm in. So creepy. Oh. And um, it definitely lived up to the hype. People were like freaking out great. when this movie came out. And I'm like, oh, oh thank God it lived up. Praise mm. Jesus. We got another so great horror film. Yes. Oh, my yes. oh. I have so many thoughts. I have so many feelings. To like keep it all together. Why? Just let it out. Oh, I'm letting let it out. Let your little shadow let let out. out. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> we should note spoilers. spoilers. Turn back now if you haven't seen it. Don't really get out. Don't spoil this get movie. Out. It's amazing. Just get out. Just don't do it. Just go. But if you've already seen it, <laughs> hi. Please Welcome. enjoy this. And we're going to have a good time. So uh -oh. let's dive in. Do it. I'm ready. What are you people? So, really quick sum. We've got Addie. Um, when she's a little girl, she goes to this boardwalk and she goes into this maze and she sees another version of herself. She freaks the fuck out. And then we skip time. 20 years later, she's older. She's got a husband. She's got two kids. They're going on vacation, having themselves a good time. But Addie's seeing some weird things. And then what happens? Girl. Girl is right. She sees her other version of herself. And her Creepy. family has another version of themselves. Creepy. Oh, and shenanigans, shenanigans, shenanigans. Murder, blood, chaos. It's insane. My mind was blown. Ah! This movie was a wild ride. <sighs> Seriously though, man, <sighs> I legit was like on the edge of my seat like the entire time. Yes. And I, and I was like, oh wait, okay, we're getting this resolved. Okay, it's fine. Like they, they got away. No, no, uh -uh. no. And there's other uh -uh. ones. There's other ones. What is happening? <laughs> there were so many moments in this movie where I was like, I totally know where this is going. Like I, yes, I know exactly totally, what's gonna happen. Totally. And no. then uh, they just throw some curveballs in there, and I was like. What do you feel like was like a shot that stood out for you? Oh gosh, okay. Shot. Or like a moment. Maybe not a shot, maybe like a moment. Um, well, one, I mean, there was actually a lot. I loved the scene um, towards the end when it's like the face off between Addie and her other version. Oh. And it's like this beautiful, it is a dance. It's like the other version is like gliding gracefully between these chairs. Mm -hmm. And like you see Addie just like swinging and going mm -hmm. and she's a mess. And it's just so fluid with the other one. And so I really loved that scene. That was like a really fun, showdown yes. and i really i just had this moment where i wanted Addie to be like all right bitch let's dance like yeah let's fucking do it you're you going know? down but she just kept down. like struggle swinging i'm like come on girl just make it angry <laughs> just kill it so like because at that, it. by that point like i would be freaking over it and yeah. be like no yeah. no no you've been fucking with my family long yeah. enough you need to get we're done we are yes. done yeah i had a lot of like comparisons to like Black Swan with this movie. Yes. Because oh my it's gosh. very like <clears throat> oh gosh, shadow yes. self. Yes. So I totally was having yes. flashbacks to that movie. I did remember where, like, where I thought that. Yeah, mm -hmm. where like Nina even, is like dancing. Yes, and some of the, even mm -hmm. the angle, like the camera shots were very mm -hmm. similar. Yes. And it's like, you could see that dark, like the, um, the two different sides, like the light side, the dark side, like yeah. having two different types of dance and like, I just totally was like, oh, this is like Black Swan, which yeah. I was so here for. That's oh, like yeah. one of my favorite movies of all time. I freaking love Black Swan. For so sure. I totally was getting those vibes, like yeah. when they were showing the cuts between the two of them dancing one up, one down. Yeah, like, that was cool. That was, was really sick. cool. Yeah. Like, oh, 
whole part was sick. The rabbits. Right, the rabbits. The white oh. rabbits. I, I'm still trying to, and that's the cool thing about this movie. Like, I feel like I need to watch it a few times. Because, mm -hmm. so, yes. of course, now knowing yes. the ending, I'm going to rewatch it. I'm going to really pick up on stuff. And I think, too, with dialogue, like, I'll be able yes. to pay attention more the next time around. So I'll be able to pick up on all more. But, because I know she talked about the story with, like, the rabbit. Like, there, you know, there once was a girl and blah, blah, blah. And, like, something like she ate, like, a raw rabbit. Or, you know, like, yes. I was trying to follow because it was hard to understand her, understandably, being that right. character. Right. Um, oh, which, oh my God, yeah. Yeah, oh, we'll get, we'll to get that. there. We'll get to that. Um, but yeah, so like, I knew it has something to do with that, but mm -hmm. then also there was more to it because there were like there cages and cages and cages there was. of these white rabbits and what, whatever that facility was, which that's even mm -hmm. another question. But anyway, so the rabbit, and like, it was such symbolism because like even the daughter wore a shirt that had a rabbit on it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, yeah, I have that question. I just want to know. Here's another question. So one of the scenes that I have to say, or one of the shots I have to say like that stuck out was when we were underground and we were like zooming out for the title, the opening title. Oh yeah. It was all those oh, rabbits. The song, the song, they, the music, the music was incredible oh. for that, like just oh, yeah. panning out That's of like all these super rabbits and cages. Uncomfortable feeling. Oh. Like I just felt uncomfortable the oh, entire my time as we did that slow ass. I've got goosebumps. Zoom out <laughs> with that music. Seriously. Like, oh. Oh. Yeah, and again, it was a money, money moment for me. I was like, I oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm so here for this. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so here for this we moment. Went there. Mm. We went there right away. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, and, and what does that shot mean? Like, mm -hmm. I do want to like go back and revisit that because mm -hmm. there is like there has to be some symbolism with all the rabbits being in cages and then like cutting to like like Addy towards the end, like going down yeah. there and they're all like free and like loose all around the place. Yes. So I'm like, I don't know if that has something to do with it. Yeah. Like that they were caged underground and then like they were freed once they right. were able right. to like, take over and symbolism. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That oh I gotta figure that out because that's that was crazy. Yeah. Like I I couldn't think of what that could possibly mean, but I'm like it, it was pretty interesting. Yeah. So my other question is so at first I was thinking, okay, this is Shadow Selves, which is like actually one of my worst fears. Right. Like ever since the Dark so Phoenix. Interesting. Like, and realizing it was basically like her shadow version that became mm. into the Dark Phoenix. So I'm like, <gasps> like ever since mm. I heard that, I'm like, oh my God, that could be a thing. That could totally be a thing. Um, so yeah. at first, like I thought that that's what this was. And like, they were talking about like the whole end of the world kind of a thing. So I'm like, oh, is this that kind of a thing? Like this is the end of the world. And like, mm. this is like hell flipping over and so now it's like your shadow self coming to like yeah. annihilate you but then it's like a government thing are they clones like that's what i i couldn't figure that out because then she like talked about um how there were two bodies but they shared like a soul or something yeah and the tethering so yeah. i'm like I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out yeah I, I i mean i really think it just comes down to the symbolism of like your shadow self being a part of you like yes, yes. also bringing back like black swan like yes there i feel like there's a lot of play with that and like mm -hmm. i those stories to me are like so interesting because we all have like that piece of us that is a part of us like yes that at any moment that like we hide deep within mm -hmm, us hide mm -hmm. underground and it's like there are moments where you're like everybody has this where it's like i could totally snap and do something really evil and vindictive mm -hmm. right now but do i actually want to do that like do i actually want right. to let that part of me out right like i love i love like shadow self stuff that's yeah like, i do too oh it's so interesting to me mm -hmm. so so that's why i was i just wasn't i wasn't sure i mm -hmm. mean i love that idea and i kind of just want to play on that for myself yeah, yeah. <laughs> excuse me <coughs> well, and we should look up what the um, the Bible verse. Oh, it okay. wasn't it Jeremiah. Yeah, it was Jeremiah eleven eleven. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I I definitely love the play on the eleven eleven because yes. that's really the only time that time like mirrors itself. And it's like yes, double. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought that was super interesting, like using that symbolism yep. throughout. Mm -hmm. So then going back to um, is this like a government thing? They threw in that dialogue of Zora in the car when she was like. Um, did you know that like if you drink water, like fluoride, it's like mind control um, mm -hmm. in the water kind of a thing. The government trying to mind control you. Mm -hmm. And then her shadow self or other version mentions something about that. <sighs> like mind control. 
So oh my gosh, that's I missed that. I know, so that's the thing. It's like I need to rewatch it because yes. that character again was hard to understand at times. True. So True. I need to like go back and like go really back and listen. Revisit that. Yeah. yeah. And it is, it is hard when you're like taking in all the because it's like the there's symbolism. So there's so much symbolism yeah, in sure. it that yeah. it's like it's hard to take it all in and like really process it while you're trying to follow the story. So yes. I totally get that. Yeah. They look exactly like us. They think like us. So yeah, so there's that whole scene where like they get like killed by their shadow selves. Yeah, that was so uncomfortable for me. Yeah, like how did you feel during that scene? Because I just felt like just the music choices was very weird to me because I'm like, it, am I supposed to laugh or am I not? Like, it was just really I think uncomfortable. that's the point. It's supposed to make you uncomfortable and weird it out. And of course, like, how terrifying would that be to, like, look at yourself in the face as they, mm. like, slice your throat and stuff, you know? Like, that's insane. And then I'm, like, playing with the Alexa or whatever the hell it yeah. was. Like, oh trying God. to call the cops oh. and then it's like, fuck the police instead. Yeah. Oh my God, such a oh, mess. Man. Yeah, Such a mess. that was that was another like, oh shit moment because we're just thinking that we're just dealing with Addie and her situation right. and like right. Addie's shadow self. Like I just thought this was gonna be like a solo, like she's having like a small scale kind of story. Yeah, and so when we got to Kitty and Josh's house, I was thinking, okay, well if they're gonna get murdered, because let's be real, the way they're setting this up, they're gonna get murdered. <laughs> um, yeah, like it was pretty obvious. We knew that, but I thought it would be like their like Addie's versions and then it, maybe mm, they're trying and they're trying yes. to like pin it on the the current like our our Addie you know right. like they're trying to pin it on them like this murder thing to like fuck up their life and stuff like I don't yes. know I was just like okay so then when freaking Elizabeth Moss's character like turns around and I see her in that red suit I was like oh shit yeah like this isn't this isn't isolated guys like <laughs> Prime prime example of like Elizabeth Moss being like a badass Holy actress. Crap. Her, that she acting. was terrifying. Woo. Terrifying. Like the scissors on the. Oh. Oh, oh gosh. I got the yeah. Joker vibes with her. Yes. Right. Yes. And the plastic surgery thing, like it was all very Joker on this. So creepy. So creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She just. Oh. She made me feel very uncomfortable the whole time. Oh, I was like, yeah. oh. Testament to the actors, though. Like yeah. to be able to go with it, like. I feel like Addie, like, she just, she scared the crap out of me. Like, she did. She just, mm -hmm. ugh, her, For like, sure. shadow self, I was like, she didn't even have to do anything. That was what was so weird. And, but it's like, it's her shadow self, but she's not. Like, it's just, well, it's confusing. Well, she is the shadow self, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was that moment where, yeah. like, she, like, killed someone, and then it was like, you saw, like, the shadow self. Uh -huh coming up to the surface yeah. a little bit. Yes, oh, yes, God. and they definitely, oh. well, and that was a really fun homage that they did because, you know, you see that with Zora when she's like annihilating that Tina with mm -hmm. like the freaking- <laughs> Zora um, in that scene. Oh my gosh, what a queen, <laughs> what a queen. I was so proud of her. Um, but like you, you saw that, like, mm -hmm. and that, that is the thing. It's like, we all do have that darkness in us and it's just how we, yeah. how we find that balance. How we cope with that. Yeah. And so obviously mm -hmm. in moments like that, your dark self is going to come out because True. it's survival too, you know? Um, and so I kind of thought that that was there. I think that they were trying to make that point in a way. Too. Yeah. It's like, we all have that in us, um, kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we want to start with Addie? Like, <gasps> yeah, so, there's so much to it. I know. So, I mean, she's obviously communicating and basically being like, "Hey, I've been we we've been waiting for this moment for a really long time, and like, we're gonna take it nice and slow, basically, with how we're gonna kill you." And I was like, "Oh, girl, oh, okay, right. woo, we're doing this the hard way, woo. okay, <laughs> yeah." So we know. So we get that right. We get that knowledge that like she's been planning this for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then we start seeing news footage showing like there's this is happening all over. <sighs> the grand scale thing, I was like, I really yeah. didn't see that coming. And that was crazy. I, yeah, and they're just like crazy. murdering everybody. <sighs> she and her shadow self switch. Yes. At the beginning, yes. which we don't see. Like they do like the beginning yes. of her like as a little girl. Uh -huh. And then when she's in the mirror place, like she gets mm -hmm. choked out. And then um the shadow self takes over and has been Addie this whole time. Yeah. Uh, and her original girl self has been growing up underneath with all the other shadow selves. What which a twist, I man. oh I did not see that coming. Oh, I had no idea that that actually 
the was very beginning. The shadow self yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. It's like, oh, Dang. it was such a twist. I, I, you got me. And that's what, like, now I just really want to go back to that last kind of showdown between them two because mm -hmm. when, when the real version is like talking in that classroom or whatever and she's like explaining everything and like what this whole plan that she came up with yes. and everything but like now i want to listen to all that again because i'm like oh because like she her life was taken away from her like yeah. i get it like i completely get it i would totally do the same thing yeah but no yeah. one thing i wanted to talk about before i forget yes. is um so we learned that the swap happened but not knowing that um we had like her as a little girl and she like saw like the whole um like the the, com the commercial for or like the psa thing oh, for like yeah. the world uh -huh. like uh -huh. holding hands being together mm -hmm. united like fighting world hunger or whatever the yeah. heck it was and then yeah. like seeing her like use that as like her strategy yeah and like the, that ended up being her goal was to like have everybody like mm -hmm. And make this, make this, she wanted it to be known. Like she wanted this mm -hmm. to show everybody kind of a thing. And it was, dang. That's so crazy. The costumes are really fun. Oh, Like yes. the little red jumpsuit. Love the red. Yeah, and this gold scissors, mm -hmm. which was the symbolism of the like ending like this Severed the tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I just like I did, fun. I loved. Yeah. I loved them in the red with the mm -hmm. scissors. I'm like, I kind of want to go as that like, how sick would that be to go as like our shadow selves for Halloween? Oh, <gasps> that's creepy. Ooh. Ooh. Might need to happen. Ooh. <laughs> Halloween special. <laughs> yes. 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 Costumes were fantastic. Music was excellent. Excellent. <laughs> the music like, killed all me. Around. Cause it was like, it went from being like super creepy and then like just terrifying to like just humorous. Like mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. Laughing at parts I should not. I felt like I should not have been like laughing the during. Like Beach Boys, that, and then they're like getting thing, stabbed to yeah, death. I was like, like, oh, this is like I'm laughing, but it's so uncomfortable because I, I shouldn't be laughing. People are dying. Yes, yes. <laughs> I feel like sound is probably it's one of the. It's so important to horror. Like yeah. it makes horror. I, I don't know how to describe it, but like it's just like it's so important in the horror genre, even more so than most films and stuff. Because it just makes such an impact in those scenes. Definitely. Um, so I always love seeing what directors and different filmmakers and stuff kind of decide with that. And so yeah, his choices were just really fun. Just a really <gasps> fun they variety. They were different. Mm -hmm. Cause there were like, so, there were some scenes where I'm like, if you took the, the music away from this scene, it would be like way terrifying. Yeah. And like, it would just be purely creepy. But like, yeah. it made it even more uncomfortable. Like him playing like kind of this humorous music, like even her like slicing her face and oh, had like yeah. that like mm -hmm. weird ass music playing while she's yeah. putting her face in the mirror. And I was like, yeah. this is just weird. It's just mm -hmm. weird. It yeah. makes you feel weird. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Yes. But yeah, I, I, yeah, use of music was, mm -hmm. it was interesting. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. We need to move and keep moving. They won't stop until they kill us. Until we kill them. So, I love this movie. I love this movie. I, I it loved great. it. It was, oh man, which I knew I would. Like, I wasn't disappointed by Get Out. I really loved that film and I just think George is just a great writer. He is a guy to look out for. He knows he what he's is, doing. Man. He does it all. Writer, producer, and director. And yeah. he's like killing. He's like championing this. the horror genre right now. And I love it. I love that he's really bringing um, this really amazing seriousness um, for the African American culture in horror. Because to me, it's just been such like a comedy thing over the years. Mm -hmm. It's like the token black person that gets killed mm -hmm. or that, you know, it's like the black person that's always scared in the movie and stuff like that. And so I love that he's like really taking this and just making this, this is a universal thing. Like yeah. the whole show, the mm -hmm. whole movie, I was like, I hope none of them die. I yeah. hope, Cause I love every character. Yeah. They're all like great, powerful characters and you feel for all of them. They, yeah. It just makes it so easy to make them likable. And again, it's like that social commentary and that's what I loved mm -hmm. about Get Out. Like I love that, he's introducing that back into horror because that's what makes horror terrifying is when you can really relate to it. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like in both of these films, he did that. 
So and he's just so great with symbolism. Yeah. Symbol mm -hmm. like that is the biggest thing I think with him is like yeah. yeah. You can go back and revisit his film, either one of them, Get Out or Us, and get so much more out of it through the second watch, third watch, fourth watch. Like yeah. I feel like every time you're gonna watch it, you're gonna catch on to something new. Oh so. yeah, for sure. Oh. Yes, I loved so it. Good, good job, it. Jordan. Ah, ah, you're the oh. best, Jordan. Keep doing what you're doing. You keep doing girl. it. We're gonna keep we watching in. your movie. I'm gonna seriously, I'm gonna go see this again. I want to. I, I mean, really do. I, need to. I, uh, I have so many I, questions. I live for that. Yes. I, this, oh, just everything. I live for it. Let's do it. Yes, yeah. love it. We're gonna see it again tomorrow. Yes, okay. yes, we are. Sounds mm -hmm. hot. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us yeah. for this movie review. It was so fun. I know, and we're gonna do ah. more. We got more. Some, do more. We got I some more wait. movies coming out. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, so what's the next one on our list? Um, Pet Cemetery. I oh, oh yeah. I can't wait for that. So. Mm, that looks really creepy. Yeah, and Curse of La 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 La. We Curse can't... of La 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 La. <laughs> we can't say the name, so we're just gonna say the Curse of La 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 mm -hmm. La. Yeah. It's like the horror version of La La Land. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Like... <laughs> la La La. Oh my god. <laughs> So if you guys like this review, please click to subscribe click. so you can watch even more of our content because yeah, um, we're silly and goofy and weird and quirky and we're a we good love time. More, and we, we love more to talk about. Yeah, exactly. Woo. So yeah, I'm Kayla. And I'm Joel. And we'll see you next time. Bye.